So, after making a whole crud load of phone calls, seeing if I can find a used axle or a used differential for this thing, the cheapest price I could get after shipping and freight was $2,300. And for a used part that would cost me more money to return if, if it was a piece of crap when it got delivered to me, just not worth it, not worth the risk. And none of that, I can get a whole new whole new rear diff and all the bearings for $2,200. The only problem is the differential is on back order by, they said about three to four months. So until I find a good price or someone that has one in stock, I'm about to do what I'm going to tell you guys. Never, ever do this. I don't want you ever to do this. But I'm doing this because this is our own personal fleet vehicle. And we can accept full responsibility of it, insurance and insurance of it. But this, but this van has to be on the road because this is our flooring company's van. For my partner's flooring company. And it's got to be on the go-go's. And can't be down. So I'm going to pull it out. I've got some Ford Ranger bearings that just happen to be the same size. And I'm going to swap all the bearings out. And I've got a, I got a couple seals that I'm picking up for it. But I'm going to take the pin and going to knock it back into place. And I'm going to weld it. And hopefully she'll hold together long, hold them together long enough until I can get a good new replacement in. But sometimes you got to do what you don't want to do and the things that you hate doing, because there really isn't any other option. But I do not endorse this kind of behavior. I do not recommend that you guys ever do it. But yeah, looks like. Looks like I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to half-ass it for for now, but yeah, kind of sucks doing it this way. But she should hold together long enough. 